My name's Mrs Goffrey and I'm the Director of Sport and Health at Davenant Foundation School and I'm going to take you through an overview of the A-Level for Physical Education that you will be embarking on in September 2020. I'm going to go through the table on slide two and explain how this course is structured and how it is broken down in terms of assessment. So if we look at the content overview on the left hand side, the first box says applied anatomy and physiology, exercise physiology and biomechanics. This is referred to in the specification as component one. Those are the three topic areas that you will cover across year 12 and 13. To its right, you've got the assessment breakdown and the name of the paper is called Physiological Factors Affecting Performance. This is worth 90 marks and it's a two hour written paper and it's worth 30% of the overall qualification mark. Going back over to the content overview, we've got skill acquisition and sports psychology. This is referred to as component two in the specification. As you can see on the right, the assessment breakdown and the name of the paper is the psychological factors affecting performance. This is worth 60 marks. It's a one hour written paper and it's worth 20% of the overall qualification marks. Go back over to the left to content overview. We are now on sport and society, contemporary issues in physical activity and sport. This is referred to as component three in the specification. As you can see on the right, the name of the paper is socio-economic, socio-cultural issues in physical activity and sport. It's worth 60 marks and it's a one hour written paper. It is also worth 20% of the overall qualification mark. If we go back to content overview, the last box on the slide two, it says performance or coaching, evaluation and analysis of performance. This is referred to as component four of the specification. The assessment breakdown for this is your actual performance in PE and it's a practical and it's also an evaluation of a recorded performance. This is worth 60 marks and it is worth a total of 30% of the overall marks. They, this unit, this component is broken down into 15% plus 15%. Give you more details in the following slides. As you're aware, we did provide information on the entry requirements for embarking on an A-level PE course. We recommend that students have at least a a sixth grade GCSE PE and obtain two sixth grades in combined science GCSE or a six in GCSE biology, purely because of the links to the specification in terms of the physiology and anatomy and biomechanics. The ability to perform to a good standard in one sport and at club or competition level while this is not a prerequisite for the course, it is highly recommended if you are a student and are aiming to a, aspire for a grade A star to C. What you will learn, just a brief summary throughout the course, is you will learn and investigate physiological factors affecting performance, psychological and sociocultural themes in physical education, Theoretical units will provide you with a knowledge base that will support your practical performance and allow you to access higher marks in the coursework unit. So this relates to slide two, where I've just gone over the content overview. So the modules you will be taking, I've got C1, which means component one, is physiological factors affecting performance. And the topics that you'll cover are applied anatomy and physiology, exercise physiology, biomechanics, including technology in sport. You may be familiar with this content if you have completed a GCSE PE qualification in year 10 and 11. And then in component two, C2, you will then move on to psychological and sociocultural themes in physical education. This includes skill acquisition, sports psychology, sports and society. 
again, the content is the next step up for GCSE. So if you have taken GCSE PE, which is ideal, you would have touched on some of these subjects at GCSE level. C3, which is component three, sport and society, emergence and evolution of modern sport, sport in the 21st century, global sport events. This is what component three entails. Component four is called performance and physical education. You will do this throughout year 12 and 13 also. You will be required to analyse a performance, um, a recorded performance, and you'll have a written task and you will provide feedback on that performance. For each of the components, you will study all of these topics across year 12 and 13. continued, you will learn the short and long term preparation um, for athletes and what they go through every time they train and compete. The main categories investigated and analysed are physiology, psychology, technical and fatigue recovery. Just to expand on component four, it's broken down into preparation for the Octoman sports performance. And then unit four of component four, the developing sports performer is the coursework unit for A-level PE. Again, just to recap what you will learn across year 12 and 13, the learning outcomes is that you will be able to investigate the physiological factors affecting performance, as well as the factors of psychological and sociocultural themes in PE. The theoretical units will provide you with the knowledge base that will support your practical performance and allow you to access the higher marks. And the reason I've repeated this, is because the components, although they are taught separately, there is overlap in terms of your learning across the components. Before I finish, uh, just to explain the way this course is delivered, you will have a teacher dedicated to teaching each of the components for A-level, for component one, for component two, component three and component four. So you have a team of A-level teachers who are dedicated to a specific component. You will be provided with a coursework booklet which you can tick off as you go along to record what content you have covered and if you have any outstanding work. Um, that will be provided to you at the start of the course in September. That is the overview of the course. The following slides for 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11, I have provided you with five tasks, which is it's just a taster and introduction um, and a recap of learning for component one. So it covers joints, movements and muscles, an overview. So you are to complete that worksheet. And then task two also is component one, and this looks at diet and nutrition for you to complete. And then you've got for component two, task three, which the first topic you'll be covering is classification of skills. And that is continued on slide 10. When you get to slide 11, this is for component three. And you are simply to use the words, the keywords to fill in the gaps. As mentioned earlier on, if you have studied and completed GCCPE, you will find your course notes from GCCP really useful in terms of being able to complete these tasks. But for further re reading, you can access the OCR specification online on the OCR website. We really look forward to seeing you in September and we do hope you do enjoy the A-Level PE course and we do expect to have you involved in the full breadth of the PE department in terms of helping and assisting with clubs, training teams, attending practices and for you to fully experience and obtain the benefits of this qualification. All the best.